Are you holding on, my beloved? Does your anchor hold to that sure <laughs> foundation? I say, are you holding on? Many of you don't realize what, what time it is. Many of you are still disillusioned. You believe a false report. Many of you are not aware of what the true foundation is. Because you have been brainwashed, hoodwinked, and bamboos that you've been given a false God. Oh, yes, you have. You know, some people say, well, how is it that black folk realize that we were enslaved and that we were indoctrinated, but still we hold to Christianity? And I want to answer that question real briefly because some of you don't understand the process and the power of God. The Bible says, wherever the souls of our feet shall tread, we shall possess it. And I want you to know that our feet tread upon the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, it did. Jesus meant Savior. And there is no Savior but God. And I am indeed the voice of God. And that's why we cleave to Jesus. That's why we, it's so hard to separate a Negro from Jesus. The Bible asks this question, if the salt has lost its Savior, wherewith shall it be salted again? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. So the question of the day is, have you lost your savor? Have you lost that, that taste? Have you lost that, that fragrance? Have you lost that action, that potency, that efficiency, that enhances all things. So, have you lost it? Now I want you to stand in these perilous times, beloved. I want you to make sure that your anchor grips and holds to that which is eternal and everlasting. Therefore, the scripture said, though a man die, yet shall he live. Moses ascended upon the mount, trembling and in awe of what he behaved. And the fire spoke. And the mouths of the that the soles of your feet. For the ground upon which thou standest is holy. And so we sing a song just a closer walk with thee. Good. I want you to stay, beloved. You hear me? Having done all that you spiritually know to do, that you physically know to do, I want you to stand huh, in the faith of God. Because your faith carries great reward. And your faith, beloved, shall indeed be rewarded. 
for our eyes, these carnal eyes, have not seen. This carnal mind, this matter, has not comprehended. Mm. But we know that our God gives exceedingly and abundantly all mm. above all of that which we can think. Alas, beloved, make sure your anchor holds and grips that solid rock, my God. For this is the time of separation. This is the wrath and the judgment of God. And I say so. And me and my father are one. It remaineth, beloved, to be mine. And my will shall be done in earth as it is.